a new generation on the political scene in Hong Kong. These young campaigners are fighting to become lawmakers in the territory's parliament, the Legislative Council. And the message to voters is a simple one, a clean break from China. As the Communist Party in China is not fulfilling its promise, Hong Kong independence seems to be the only right option now. New politicians like Leung arose from the pro-democracy umbrella movement of 2014, which protested against Beijing's perceived tightening grip on the former British colony. But the weeks-long demonstrations fizzled out, failing to win any political concessions or reforms. 23-year-old student Nathan Law was one of the protest leaders. He is now campaigning for a new party, which is also calling for self-determination for Hong Kong. We hope to push the self-determination movement because we want Hong Kong people, through democracy, to determine their own future. And this mentality must be carried over to our daily lives, so we need a stable political force to fully push this movement. Hong Kong is governed by the one country, two systems model that permits some political freedoms and rights unavailable on the mainland. But not everyone agrees with the calls for independence and there is a strong and vocal pro-China lobby. I don't want to see Hong Kong independence forces enter Lejko, otherwise Hong Kong will have no hope. Pro-independence activities have been branded illegal by authorities in both Hong Kong and Beijing, and some candidates have even been banned from standing in the election. Polls indicate that only one or two independence campaigners stand a chance of success. But in a city that is struggling with its identity, any seat would be something of a coup for this fledgling movement.